arrived and this week I'll be staring into your soul using 3D glasses and also you know reviewing Piranha 3D Piranha. yeah I stole them Piranha 3D is essentially two movies in one so I'll sum the first part up with a song Tits and ass and boobies, 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 tits and ass and boobies. This movie is pretty much the Citizen Kane of showing breastesses. Uh, Kelly Brook and Riley Steele are constantly in bikinis. There is constant female nudity. Uh, asses, wet t-shirt competitions, you name it, it is in here. It is just ridiculous. There is also an underwater ballet scene, if you know what I mean. But this just makes the random horror scenes feel judderingly out of place. You'll be sitting there, admiring the female form, when suddenly a parama will jump up, rip off a guy's penis, and vomit it onto the screen in 3D at you. Not even kidding. The second half of this movie is pure violence. Now, I haven't seen a movie this bloody since Bury and Dead. You're going to need a strong stomach. Several people left the cinema mid-movie whilst I was watching this. There will be scenes where you'll see a girl get the skin ripped off her whole head, the scene where someone falls clean in half, and there are prolonged scenes of violence and brutality that I have not seen in quite a while. The 3D works quite well in this movie. It fits nicely into the horror scenes, and it makes the pervy scenes feel a little bit more enjoyable. It's nothing groundbreaking, however. Should I watch it? No. Whilst this movie is better than you'd think, it just isn't funny or scary enough. The jump scares are a little bit cheap and the acting is really quite poor. Now I get that it's a throwaway to the 80s horror movies, I do, but that's just not enough for me. I wasn't the only one to dislike the Piranha movie, however. James Cameron tells Vanity Fair magazine that Piranha 3D is exactly an example of what we should not be doing in 3D because it just cheapens medium and reminds you of the bad 3D horror films of the 70s and 80s. Whilst I didn't love the movie, I'll defend their right to release it. 3D should not be genre locked and what right does James Cameron have of saying who and who shouldn't use it? He was neither the first person to use 3D nor did he have the best 3D movie. Now, Piranha 3D was fun, but it just wasn't worth the price of admission for me, especially when 3D tickets cost so much. 